Hey everyone, in this video I want to do a quick comparison between Embato Elements and Storyblocks and if you're unsure of which one of these tools are better a better fit for you, then I will first talk about Embato Elements and if you're of a WordPress creator, developer or website developer in general, then Embato Elements will be your options because here you will have already some web templates and also you can have the Envato Elements plugins that it's really useful for creating and, and building up faster websites. And especially if you have Elementor Pro, which in another videos I have shown already how it works and it really makes a difference how easily you can import images to your WordPress websites if you have Envato Elements and also to import, import the templates. As I have also recommended, but this is between Envato Elements and ThemeForest. I honestly prefer to leave aside ThemeForest only if you have found a very specific theme or yes, a theme for WordPress because honestly, if you prefer to pay like for one year, it's around $200, but you can do the math if it's convenient for you, if you're going to keep building several websites and it probably might be better to have Envato Elements and Elementor than just having one template from ThemeForest. So this is the first reason that you will choose between Envato Elements and Storyblocks. And also another, well, that another advantage between Envato Elements and Storyblocks, probably it's also that they have even more types of file like presentation templates, fonts and some many other categories and the price it's it's lower in comparison with storyblocks so those are the advantages but if we go in terms of licensing and i will show you here in my downloads you can see here that you will have to add one by one the license for each of the files that you use so if you want to reuse an image you will have to add the license and eventually to prove that you have another type of project so, so that's a thing that you must do in Envato Elements in terms of licensing and if you can sell you won't get the new license for the new project probably this is the most confusing part about Envato Elements because once you stop paying the file that you have for the project that you already have done or you are in development process that will have here the license you can download it but if for example you start another project new project you won't be able to add a new license for that new project so that it's the part of where it's confusing so i i hope that this, this type of explanation makes it even more clear from what i have understand so in that order many people have a question me like is that possible can just i just pay one month download everything and just keep reusing the files and in Embato elements that's not possible but in storyblocks that's the advantage that when you get the license, the individual or business license for one month or for one year, that content is to keep for you forever. That also means that even if you can sell, yes, you can also keep the license for the files that you already have downloaded and for the projects that you are already have done, but also you can reuse them for new projects. But Storyblocks, obviously, as a business, they offer new content or to upload new content so that you can keep subscribed to their platform so that you can have access to new types of content and also to new apps so probably in the case of story blocks i would recommend it better for only those ones that are more content creators either for youtube social media or even for your own website not specifically probably wordpress but if you don't need too much about templates then probably yes storyblocks will be a better option for you and of course and this might be in both cases that yes they have thousands of files of videos of images as well but it's worth mentioning that probably not all the images and also illustration and so on will be worth it some probably for example in this case of the oranges and some other type of fly flowers probably you won't use them and some probably other photos won't be the high quality that you're looking for so yes they will have like for example this is a good picture but as i said probably these flowers pictures it's good but probably not for my needs as well as here as the ipad so but you might find these type of things between the two platforms that there will be also thousands of content that you won't use and also another advantage that storyblocks has and that it's a new feature it's the use of this platform maker 
It's their new app to create videos. Actually, Envato has its own that it's called Place It. And it's actually the almost the same style of platform, but this here you can also create different types between design, logos, and this is more focus oriented to video. But I assume that as Maker keeps improving, they will also add new features and you can actually customize and import all the stock video, audio and images to your Maker app. So probably this is actually one of an advantage between Embato Elements and Storyblocks. Storyblocks already includes it. And in the case of Embato, it's another app or another different website where you have to pay again, even if you have the Embato element. So that's another difference. And probably here is the advantage of Storyblocks. And also worth mentioning in the case of Storyblocks and especially in the audio for any other YouTube, especially for the YouTube creators. Storyblocks has also plenty of music. And let me show you here. If you need to, or if you're already monetizing and looking for some music to add to your YouTube video, then you can actually use Storyblocks. And if you need to do a claim for copyrights here, actually they state that they will help you with 30 minutes in less than 30 minutes if you have a claim. And actually it will I already got a copyright claim, which I already added the dispute, but by the moment it's on the process from two songs. I will show you here in the other Storyblocks review video that I created. As you can see here, well, it's in, moment in Spanish, but if we go to the details, I already sent the dispute. I'm not monetizing, but in case that you need, you can actually send that you have the license and hopefully the, actually it will be accepted to be able to monetize. But since I'm not really focusing on monetizing YouTube and having the songs, I haven't been that really keen of watching this or checking out this area. But from the music of Embato Elements, I have received some comments that you won't be able to send too much disputes. And actually here, let's say for this example, this song, it's already registered by at ref and although your license covers you will also have to send out the notification to clear the copyright dispute so honestly i in the case of the music of embato elements i usually try to search for the music that excludes the pro and also the ones that are not included by the youtube content id so that i can avoid having these types of disputes like for example this song that it's not registered so you're if you're a person that's looking for avoiding this type of problems then probably story blocks will be a better option since you cannot hear your youtube channel id if you have already your name or you have like this generic number from youtube you can just add it so that they can help you even faster and in terms here of license you will only have like one personal license and you will have here your personalized license with the dates and also with what includes especially for youtube that it states that you will have worldwide rights and actually and also it's for their material so i hope that this video helped you at least to have a little bit more knowledge between choosing either Envato Elements or Storyblocks. If you have some questions, if I have missed something, don't hesitate to write on the comments. Thanks for watching. <laughs>